Hello, and in this video I'm going to be making a cutscene in Robot Studio. So it's going to go from camera one here, it's going to go in a tween style to this camera here, and then you can have as many cameras as you want. So the first thing you've got to do is you've actually got to add the different the two parts, the two cameras. So this is camera one, and um, I just I'm tested around until I got the right surface, but it's going to be the front if you can if you can figure it out. Um, so this one, it, it looks like that. It looks at that, and then it takes it ten seconds, I think, to get to here and to look at that. And obviously, you can change this as much as you want. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I have a few more videos in in mind that might involve this. So you might you can get as close as to the, like here as you want. Maybe rotate it a bit, like that. Okay, and now we've got to script it. So you, if you want to add in a script into start a GUI, a local script, and then you can name the script, maybe cut scene script. Now here we're going to do the variables, which is going to be local tween service equals the game get service tween service and local camera equals game dot workspace dot camera and then local cutscene which we're going to do all capital letters and then equals 10 or 5 or that that's like the amount of time it takes to get from camera 1 to camera 2 camera 2 to camera 3 which you can change it, um, so that's why it's available, so it's easier to change. Now we're going to do, this is kind of like the, I guess this is still available, so we'll go local tween info, in, um, info equals tween info dot new. Now tween info is actually a thing, so that's why we've done a lower T there. And you can put it all in here, but I think it's easier to do it it, it as a list. So cutscene, so that's this just like the time there. Comma, make sure the comma, people forget the comma. Then enum for easing style. This is pretty up to you. I'm going to go sign. I think sign is is the best one for cutscenes, so but that's completely up to you. Enum dot easing direction dot out and then another comma. Then zero, comma, false, comma, zero. Now this one doesn't have well, for some reason, I'm just going to name this cutscene time actually. So it's not just cutscene, cutscene is cutscene time. Oh, yeah, so I forgot the comma there. Figure out what it was. And now we're going to go into the main program. Okay, so this is going to be function tween with capital, with, sorry, non capital letter. And then cam1, cam2, it's going to be part1, part2. Test one, test two. I'm just going to do cam. Then camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable, and then camera dot cam I'm sorry dot c frame equals cam one dot c frame, and then local tween equals tween service create camera tween info c frame equals cam to dot c frame and then tween play so you can really name that whatever you want it doesn't have to be a tween at all then you're going to wait cutscene time once it's finished the cutscene then camera dot camera type Enum camera type dot custom. Now, if you want it to like wait a little bit longer, you could do that plus three, maybe. We'll just try that. Try that out, and then wait two seconds. Okay, we'll do three seconds. Tween. Um, then if it's a uh, dark mode, it should be yellow. I don't know what color it is if it's um, on light mode. So game dot workspace dot camera one, and then game dot workspace dot camera two so that's just what it's like where it goes between so 
obviously that is that and that is that so this is just so that once once it's finished once it's at the end it will wait a bit longer so we'll just but we'll give that a go one two three and then there we go and we go from one and then you can make these transparent i'll do that in just a sec and then one two three it'll stay a few more seconds and then come off instead of just you know coming off as soon as you get there and just before we end the thing we're going to i'm just going to play around with it a bit more uh that's a that's a good three seconds i'd say and we're actually going to add in another so you know how to do it within you know between more cameras and then um, we're going to have it so you spawn over here. So then just go to decal, then make that transparent. And then this is going to be in the middle of that. Go to a line tool. Like that. And then we're going to move that up like that. And then that should be, I think that's, uh, I mean, what we'll be able to see, and then camera three. Then that will pretty much just show us. Uh, and we'll just give that a go. But, but first, we need to go into this here. Let's add another one. It's actually quite simple. I thought it would be a bit more difficult than this, but you've just got to do beam. Got workspace. Actually, no, we can just copy and do a bit of copying and pasting then change camera so that camera two to camera three and that should work and we'll test that out but first before we do that we're going to make that all of these transparent make sure they're anchored as well if you're seeing the floor that's why it's it's because it's it's because it's anchored and then we'll just press play instead of play here Okay, so we spawned, and there we go. So it goes from the first one to the second one. If it's a bit slow, I think we'll make it a bit faster, especially because this one's quite small. So one, two, three, and then we'll go on to the next one. There we are. We're not even paying attention. You might want to make it non collide as well, because I can just jump onto it. So I think we'll just fix these things right now. So um, so all these we're just going to do can collide off. And um, we're just going to make it five seconds. Actually, now test work. We'll test with 7.5. See what that's like. It might be too long or and we'll just see. Okay, so it's good to give it a bit of time because otherwise it might glitch out and stuff and then, then everything lo everything's loaded and see that's much better already and then it'll go suddenly there we go yeah I'm like I think that's I think 7.5 is much better and there you are you ready oh my god what's happened here yeah so the reason I'm doing this is because I want to to make you know like the Lego games where you kind of act out a movie pretty much oh look there's an abandoned thing get clues and stuff yeah i'm pretty much want to do that because it might be quite fun and so yeah i'm cutting to a big part of that so and I'll, I'll, also it's a bit of a bit of a different video so i thought I'd, i thought i'd give it a go and so yeah this is this is quite fun to make you can experiment you can add in as many cameras as you want you can add in just like copy and paste this again and again and again and then it'd be three four four five five six and obviously you don't have to name it this but i would add numbers because that just makes more sense you can put the cameras into a folder it can just be all neat which i would love and uh yeah tell me um in the discord which you can find in the description of how your games are going you know um to tell me if you've used this tell me which game you've used it for or anything like that and if it's helped 
tell me in the comments, tell me in Discord. If you have any problems, um, text in the big general. Instead of just messaging me, text in the general because if I can't help, there will be someone who can help. I right on there. There's there's that many people that that will be able to help with your issue. So yeah, um, make sure you to subscribe, to like, comment, and uh, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. And when we hit that, I'll be doing a live stream, probably making a game or playing some games or maybe playing your games, you know, something like that. And so I think I'll, I might, it might even do a live stream a bit before that. So I've, I've some ideas. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, see ya.